Hello everybody, my name is Chris Alexander. I'll be doing a persuasive speech on the positives of online education. How we doing everybody? Awesome. Now, before we get down and dirty, I'm gonna read a fun fact. 60% of students taking, on, taking an online course are employed full time. Did anybody know that? No. Now, when we talk about the positives of online education, we're gonna break it down to the three factors I thought that was important to me, which are cost, convenience, and self-motivation. Now, when we break down the cost, we'll be talking about transportation and course materials. Now, transportation, money spent on gas and public transportation. How much for gas out here in Maryland? Um, about two thirty a gallon. A gallon, and you fill your car what? Weekly. Weekly for about how much? Um, about twenty six dollars. Now, for public transportation, how much for monthly? Um, so that would be three fifty times. Let's just say. 20 days in a month, uh, that would equal a lot. Equal a lot, just just to get to and from. Now, do you think you'd be able to, now since you drive, do you think you'd be able to go from work to school, back home, and in, in that rotation? Um, yeah, it would, I, I would be able to, but uh, it would put a, a dent in my budget. Okay. So you now it's the positives of online education because you get to do everything at home and from work. Now for course materials, which is a cost, we'll be talking about supplies. Now face to face, you gotta spend money on books, a book bag, pens, pencils, a protractor, crazy miscellaneous things for school supplies. Now for a online, all I really have to worry about is making sure my lecture electronic devices are charged up and to make sure that they work in and I have my internet is working. Now other miscellaneous device miscellaneous costs will be food internet. How much do you pay for internet? Um about eighty dollars. Yeah you pay eighty dollars for that and a student going to that's doing a face to face has to pay twenty a hundred probably a hundred and twenty I know it's past the hundreds just for a book. But next we're gonna to move to convenience, which is accessibility and flexibility. Now accessibility, you be able to access it anywhere 24-7. Now when we talk about flexibility, uh, you be able to study at the peak of your energy, offer students to study whenever it fits into their lives. Work, you're not doing nothing at work. Now, uh, we talk about self-motivation. It develops personal growth because it requires time management. It requires discipline, commitment, organization to turn in those quizzes, those assignments, sit down and actually study. Now, to end it off, online education is a very cost-efficient way to expand someone's higher learning. It also allows flexibility to continue their current lifestyle and provide a healthy work-life balance. Any questions? Uh, none at this time, thank you. Okay. What was it?